Okay, I'm back with you here. I had to jump out to uh, make sure everything was okay. And I'm back with you here in the uh, 1900 block. I'm going down. It's a street to my left over here. I mean, not a street to my left. I'm sorry. It's a school to my left. And I'm going down. It's got some potholes. I mean, not potholes, but speed humps. Uh, 1800, I'm sorry, 1800 block. And now I'm approaching the 1900 block here. I'm just going uh, at the intersection of Cortland and uh, Newland. Got some young boys uh, just hanging out here in the corner. Uh, it was a uh, hell of a pothole there. I didn't see that. If I didn't see that, I'm sure a lot of other people did, don't see that either when they're coming down this block here. Looks like this block got uh, asphalted about, I don't know, five, five, six, seven years ago. Color, you can tell the color, the color of the asphalt. Uh, we'll get into that later about the different colors, like I said. Uh, we're going down, this looks like a pretty good street. Uh, sidewalks need to be repaired. Some got a new sidewalk. I see a new sidewalk that's already caving in already. You know, some of the, you know, the parkway driveways are kind of beat up. You know, this one house on the corner here got uh, some new uh, courtesy walks, some new catwalks, uh, new, uh, new corner. Uh, I see a rabbit. Oh, that's nice that they got rabbits around here at the corner at Armitage and Newland. Uh, it's kind of nice to see wildlife running around here as long as they're not destructive and eating tomatoes. <laughs> I know how rabbits eat tomatoes. <laughs> but but anyway, back to the video here on the 2000 block. I see a pothole just starting out. It looks like it's going to be a deep one because uh, it's starting out. It's like about a foot deep and about Oh, I don't know, about another foot wide. It's going to be a huge pothole. They should fix it. Uh, as I'm going on, I see uh, a lot of potholes here. All right, I see people out there playing. This looks like a nice block to raise a family because I see a lot of kids on this block back there and over here. Uh, I see the parkway sinking in. There might be a, a underground leak there in front of the, the, 20, the 2000 block of uh, North Newland. Uh, I see a lot of catch basins and the lawn basins. They call, they call them lawn basins, but it's still the same thing as a curb box, gutter box. It's a uh, catch basin. It's all the same thing. They just named them back differently back in the day. Sometimes we wish we were in the back of the old days sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to the street over here, I see uh, they did some work on here. I see the sidewalk uh, shifting over there at the corner here at Dickens and uh, Newland, uh, a couple feet before the intersection. Okay, as I'm approaching this section, uh, this looks good except for the main sewer again. I see a lot of cracks going this way and that way. That usually means that there's some uh, brickwork that needs uh, being fixed on it because the sewer is shifting down. When it shifts down a little bit, you'll see a crack at the asphalt. You know. As I'm going down this street here, I see a lot of a lot of curb work is needed over here, especially around this alley over here. The parkway is all chewed up there. That fella needs a new. Uh, new uh, cement there. I'm going down this block here. Looks like there's a dead end in front of me. I think they got the street blocked off because of the park. There's a park right here at Shakespeare and Newland on my right, which is the northeast side. There's a huge pothole here that uh, looks like it's a washout because it's sinking about six feet uh, west of where that hole is at. That means, and right next to it is a sewer. And I don't see, yeah, I see the sewer over there, but you see underneath there where it's, when it sinks like that, it's right across from a sewer. That means it's a sewer, the tile has been broken down there or shifted. That means all that waste is sitting somewhere. And it's, it's probably finding the main sewer in the middle of the street here. Because somebody tried patching it earlier, uh, just to right in front of me here. That means all they did is they just threw asphalt on it to cover up the pothole. What they should have done is dug it out and fixed it before it came a problem. Because if all this washes out, this whole street can fall in. Uh, you remember when that uh, street fell at Montrose and Damon? When that whole street fell in? That was a washout. Everything underneath there washed out. The only thing that was holding that street up was the asphalt. Now imagine if there was a bus going through that street. That whole bus would have fell down at least five to ten feet. Same thing for over here. If that sewer caves in and it's all under, they call it undermined because there's nothing there. It's a washout and 
just imagine what would happen if that street gave out and there was a car with children uh, in that car. They would hurt themselves there. Right now I'm going on this street because I can't go. I'll be right back with you on the next street.